these slides on network analysis are just a summary or, or locating where we're up to in the unit. There's a number of laws that have already been looked at. Ohm's law, Kirchhoff's current law, Kirchhoff's voltage law. Looked at resistors in series and parallel and analysing circuits with them. There's more derivative rules that come out of those three. For instance, voltage dividers, current dividers, how we measure voltages and currents and what effects the instruments have on the circuit. The three we're interested in at the moment are Thevenin equivalent circuit, Norton equivalent circuit and superposition theorem. Mesh current analysis and node voltage analysis help us solve networks that we can't solve in some of the other methods. If we're looking at a network, we have a circuit here, it has two terminals but inside it it has uh, multiple power sources and resistors. And we want to analyze that and come up with a simpler analysis of it. Well we can create a simplified circuit called a Thevenin equivalent circuit. So by analyzing the circuit at the top we can bring it down to just a single voltage source and a series resistor. That's a Thevenin equivalent circuit. Or, through our ana analysis of the circuit above, we can bring it down to a single current source and a parallel resistor. Now, as it turns out, in those two circuits, the resistance value is the same in either circuit. So that's the Thevenin equivalent circuit and the Norton equivalent circuit. Now, sometimes when we're analysing a circuit to try and find out how to build our Thevenin or Norton equivalent, sometimes it's a bit too complex and we use a thing called superposition theorem. In this one we use a thing called source zeroing. So at the bottom here's our original circuit and on the right we've zeroed one of the sources. Now with a current source we zero it by removing it. With a voltage source we zero it by replacing it with a short. In this example if we continued we would also do the source zeroing for the voltage source and analyze the circuit with the current source in place. And then the next step would be to add up the results from all of those different steps. So superposition theorem is a way of analyzing a complex circuit that has lots of sources and we do it by zeroing all the sources but one and analyze for that source and then move to the next source. So that's the three things we're going to focus on.